You want me to get rake? Right? Last night we went out there and cropped what was ready of the cabbage before it started dying. I had to wash them up and get them in the house and all today. I'm going out here and show y'all. This is, it's about time for this to uh, come up. It's about done. It's about time to go ahead and start tilling up and get ready to plant. I'm gonna have to let Bubba tell y'all what all he got to um, plant next because when it comes down to it, the garden is his ordeal. I, I can't, uh-uh. It's not me. I don't know if y'all can hear what Bubba was saying, so I'm just gonna repeat it. But he said in about uh, three, four, five more weeks, all of this is gonna come up. But the broccoli's got to go for another round. So that's basically what we're waiting on for everything to come back up. But this weekend, we are for sure pulling up this whole entire row of mustard greens. I need to um, blanch and freeze every last bit of that. This is about the, gonna be the third batch. Where them jokers are? They look real nice and crisp. So there's where we planted our garden at, off to the left of the trailer if you're standing looking at the road. And all right in front of it, this was all trees. I mean, it still is a good bit of trees, but it was really, really thick. So Bubba came out here and, I mean, spent all day long with machetes and um, chainsaw and all kind of stuff and just cleared all this out the best he could um, to open it up so that you know whenever the sun gets over there that it would um, get more sunlight to be right there because about three or four o'clock in the afternoon that sun is beating down right about there because a good portion of the day there was no sunlight coming in over here. Um, so this is really the only spot that we could have it at um, because we are surrounded pretty much by trees. So we had to kind of make do and make a spot to have a garden. Here's my little flower bed. We just pulled out um, some dead flowers out this little spot here. I was literally just getting out my mouth that I didn't think that these were gonna grow and that I was thinking I was gonna have to pull them out because I thought the winter killed them all up. But, literally, the next morning I woke up and these little three here had bloomed. So, I was like, well, I reckon they're going to be alright. I need to pull the leaves up out of them and stuff and get them cleaned up a little bit. But, that's really, I don't think, I think they're going to be okay. But, if not, then we'll replant something. These are, these little flowers are really, really cheap at Lowe's. Um, this flower box, I'll show you all from the other side too. But, Bubba got it really cheap because it was... I'm putting quotes around it broken, but all it needed was a couple nails in it, you know, to fix it. So, it's really pretty. Let me show y'all from the other side. Hold on. All right, here it is from the other side. Yeah, this thing was, it was pretty expensive at Lowe's. And if you see, Bubba just put a couple nails in it to secure it really good. Just to make sure that it stayed but it was, it was only a little tiny bit like loose or whatever and they marked it down. Might have been less than $20 whenever he got it, but, and then to hold it up, make sure it was sturdy, he just put that um, two by four or whatever the heck that is there. But anyways, that's my little flower box on the front porch. We're trying to make it look nice up here. This is a, this is the last thing we'll end up doing. This one takes time, but it's okay. I just want to show you all that. Okay, Bubba wants me to turn the truck around. <laughs> this thing's got a lick of power steering. I need to go this way to be able to turn it around. Hold on. Man, this is a goat and pony show. Hold on, hold on. Ah! The thing don't tell you what gear you're in or nothing. So Bubba's want me to back the truck in. And the bad thing is, he ought not trust me to go forward, let alone backwards. Well, let's see what we can do. Okay, I think I'm in neutral. This thing don't tell you I'm still in drive. God bless it. All right, there's park. It don't tell you what gear you're in, y'all. I mean, I'm not that. I don't like this. This was a bad idea. Why couldn't he do it? All right. I can't see. Straight back? Yeah, I need guidance. Am I gonna hit ditch? What? 
Oh, he's checking his lights. Gotta open it from the outside. Well, very hey, stressful. You know how to drive. Oh, I, I believe it is common knowledge that I should not be the one doing the backing up. You know, doing the forward going thing is often questionable. Y'all, we're at the flea market. Bubba just got me another guitar. So, I needed a, um, I needed a smaller one bad um, because my hands wouldn't wrap around the other one. So, until I get the hang of it, I'll play the smaller one so I can get on that full size. guitar up and then I've got my other guitar in here too um and I'm gonna lay them side by side on the bed so y'all can see like the size difference that I was talking about y'all them uh floors in here is cold I had put me some socks on what in the world I don't remember him taping it up this good but anyways yeah um it's all about the materials used like the wood and all so I know that this one here doesn't have I could feel that it was you know on the cheaper side my other one has a spruce top I believe and a mahogany back and it's just a it's a good made guitar um okay so first thing is I do remember I do remember him saying it comes with a um a, a book but um I pretty much Oh, it's got Wildwood Flower in there. How about that? That's one of my favorite songs. Um, yeah, Wildwood Flower is one of my favorite songs. It's also one of Papa's favorite songs. But it just shows you all the chords in there. So, 
that's good. With, with a guitar that's cheap like this, I expect that I will have to uh, tune it probably every time I play. So, that's that. But, that's fine. But, yeah. So, they got all this. They got a Bluegrass Favorite Songbook. I bet you that man there has all these. Which, I'd rather use a songbook than look online or anything like that. I like something right in front of me like, like this. The phone's aggravating to learn on, you know. That's a good one. All right. Let's keep going. But yeah, I've already had the guitar in my hands, out the box and everything. And like I said, he tuned it for me there. Oh. And he gave me five free picks. I got to look through them and pick the ones that I wanted. But they're all in different millimeter. And, you know, you just um, test out the bend on them and all. And for the most part, I, won't even, I don't even use a pick. Because I don't like the sound that it, it makes. Especially because... Especially when I first started playing on my other guitar, um, it came with like the plastic pick. These are more of like, um, these are real soft. I can't explain what the material is. But anyways, they're like soft Get feeling. This plastic here. One dog's barking. All right. It's really light. Really light. But yeah, it says made in China on the inside for sure. So yep, it's made in China. I think both guitars I have are. All right, but yeah, this guitar, I do like the square head on it. And this neck is so small, like I can wrap my head, my hand around it completely. And that was the problem with the other one, is that my hand would, I literally had about like, like this, and I just couldn't move my hand around it at all. Um, but you really don't have to, because it's all about how you move your thumb behind it. You don't have to be able to wrap your hand around it. But starting out, I just have to, to be able to be able to get them cords i need this the spaces between the fret have to be smaller you know and really for the most part i'm only playing right about up in here so um that's a longer guitar it's got more frets on the fretboard um but yeah for the most part i'm only playing up about right up in here so um this is just really, it's just like a practice. It's not a toy. 100% it's not a toy guitar. Um, but I was just about near to the point of being like Bubba. Just take me to Walmart and get me a little $30 toy. Um, guitar. Okay, so let me throw, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to toss this on the ground on the other side back there. Alright, I'm going to get down real quick and get in my chair down there. It's just going to be easier for me to play in my chair, so... Let me pick up my picks because I'll lose every single one of them. But, um, yeah. Oh, but I like the color of this guitar. I love it. Oh, and also, let me show y'all the different size compared to the other one. Hang on just a second. So, I'm going to get real down in here so y'all can see the different sizes. So, basically, it just says it has a small body um, and a bright sound and the perfect beginner guitar. Well, you can hear the difference. I mean, I can. Oh, yeah, that has a. My nails are dirty. Hmm. But see what I mean? This one just sounds more solid, you know? Um, so this is ideal when it comes to to playing in the long run. It's going to have a better, a better sound. All right, so here's the two of them side by side. Y'all can see that my full size... It's quite bigger than my little old baby guitar. All right, and then when it comes to the neck, which was my biggest, biggest problem when it came to learning and playing and all, is that the neck of my full-size guitar is that the circumference of the neck is just really big compared to my hand. So, which really in the long run, it won't matter. But when it comes to learning how to play, it's really hard, y'all. It's very, very hard 
and I was getting very, very frustrated. Let's take a gander. Be right back. The man at the flea market, he actually tuned the guitar, but, um, and I just like tune it the way I want it to sound. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> All right, so this bad boy is in tune now. Got a really good sound to it. Like I said, it was a little bit tinny, but I think that was because of his tune into my tune. It's just a little tad bit different, which is fine. He might tune his ear to a little, to a different key or something, but. Make up for lost time. Oh, but God, I know I can't. But you can't let her live this way. It's too late for saving me There's still hope for saving Amy She was sitting cross-legged on the hood of the floor Filing down her nails with an emery bowl He was thinking 